This is the X Cortec X310 Pocket Chronograph. Let's get into it. It's gonna come in this brown cardboard box and opening the box here, you have the chronograph. And it's gonna come in this plastic bag. And taking it out of the bag and there it is. And going back to the box, that is the only thing in here. There's no charging cables or anything. However, if you look at the side of the box, you can scan this with your phone and you will get the instruction manual. So for you beginners out there, what is a chronograph? What does it do? What a chronograph does is it measures different things about your airsoft gun, mainly velocity, but there are some other metrics in there that it does measure. And the way it works is inside here, you have two sets of infrared LEDs with two receivers on the opposite side. On the right side here, you can see the front end right around here. There's a set of LEDs and on the back, there's another set of LEDs and you have receivers on the left side that measure if that light beam is broken. So when you shoot a BB through it, it's gonna break this first light beam, travel this amount of distance and then break the second light beam. And what the chronograph is able to do is calculate the amount of time it took to break those two beams and that calculates your speed. So why would you need this? It's actually super useful. For starters, let's just say that you're bringing a gun to a game next weekend and you want to make sure that you'll be able to use it. And it'll give you peace of mind knowing that you're going to pass that chronograph. Or if you're doing some modifications like changing a spring out or going from a 7.4 to an 11.1, you can see how that impacts your velocity or your rate of fire. So I definitely think everyone should have one of these if you're into airsoft. It comes in handy. Let's go over some of the external features. So it's completely made of plastic. Along the top, there's nothing. On the right side, there's also nothing. On the left side is a micro USB port. Now, it doesn't have an internal battery. It's not for charging. However, it is for external power. So if you have a long vent running and you don't want to use batteries, you can just plug this in and keep it running indefinitely. On the bottom, you do have a mount for a tripod. On the back is your battery door, and you can see it takes one AA battery. Above that is the back of the opening for the chronograph. On the front, you have the main opening for the chronograph. To the left of that is your LCD screen. And right below that is a little joystick. And that's how you control everything about the chronograph. And this is listed as a pocket chronograph. And that is true. This thing is really tiny. Here I have something that everyone should be pretty familiar with. This is a GoPro Hero 7 Black. It is a pretty standard action camera. If we put this next to it, you can see they're almost the same exact size. It's a tiny bit bigger, but not by a ton. And if you line up the bottom of it, you can see that the lens is actually at the exact same height as the opening for the chronograph. It is a little bit thicker, but not by much. It is truly the world's smallest chronograph. And if we compare this to their previous gen chronograph, the X3200, you can really see the size difference now. Along the front, it's almost the same height, but it's almost half as wide. And then if we look at the view from the top down, you can see just how tiny this thing really is. It's a fraction of the size of the previous model. Another difference between these two that I noticed was the backlight. You can see the X3200 has an orange backlight, whereas the 310 has a white backlight. All right, so let's go over how to use this. So again, you have this little joystick here. Clicking it in will turn on the chronograph. And here it opens up in this main screen. You can see you have the rounds per second on top and the feet per second on the bottom, as well as a little battery indicator up there. Clicking the joystick down brings you into another screen with a little more information. The top left is your joules, that's your energy reading. Next to it is joules per centimeter cubed. To the right of that is your ammo type. So you can see I have it set to six millimeter BBs. It also does the eight millimeter. And you can also see I have it set to 0.25 gram. Below that again is another battery indicator. Below that again is your shot count. So that'll tell you what shot you're on. And then to the left is your rounds per second again, and below that, feet per second. If we click it down again, that brings us into our main menu. So first up is shot memo, and that will show you every single shot that you have fired through this. It also gives you the data per shot, your rounds per second and feet per second. Next down is the ammo, and this is where you change your ammo type. So you can see I have it set to number two, which is 0.25 gram. There's three different settings here, one, two, and three here. And you can also change these around. So say I wanted to shoot 0.30 gram, all you have to do is go into which number you want, Go over to the weight and bring this up or down depending on what you want to shoot. So say I have 0 0.30 gram BBs, there we go, 0 0.3. And you can also bring it over here and that will change the caliber. Bringing it down again is into our unit. So if we click this over here, you can see you can change rate of fire, 
to either rounds per second or rounds per minute. Down is the speed. You can change that from feet per second to meters per second too. One more down is auto power off. Here I have it set to one minute and that means that this will turn off by itself in one minute. I can also set it to five, 10 or 30 minutes. Here's the backlight. Now if we click this in, you can go up to the top and this is how you control when it comes on. You can see I have it set to auto. You can also change that off all the time or on all the time. Down below is how you change the brightness. You can also reverse it right here. Turning that on, you can see that everything else turned to dark while the letters and text is now light. We're gonna go ahead and turn that back off though and go to exit. Down further is your contrast settings. Here's where you can adjust everything. I'm just gonna leave it on default. And down again, you can put it back to factory settings. And to turn it off, all you do is just click the button again. It's a really straightforward design and it makes using this super easy. All right, so let's get into a few specs about this. It has a length of 72 millimeters, a height of 51 millimeters, and a thickness of 47 millimeters. It has a weight of 60 grams. It can read up to 980 feet per second. It can also read up to 6,000 rounds per minute. So that means no matter what airsoft gun you have, you're not gonna have to worry about your velocity or your rounds per second or rounds per minute being too high for it. So let's do some rounds through this and just see how everything works. All right, let's do a little testing with this. Here I got my Elite Force Glock 19X, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this guy is in the correct BB weight first. So yeah, you can see six millimeter and 0.25 gram. That's what we're running. So let's go ahead and put it back up in the other screen just so that the numbers are larger. And let's put a few shots through this and see how it does. 299.7. 299.8. Two ninety four and two eighty eight point six. All right, and you see in the top right corner is your shot count. So we fired five shots. That means it registered all of them. And we can go into our shot memo here and it shows you all of the shots there. So one through five and what their feet per seconds were. And you can see again, if we move it back up into this screen, we have a little more data here. So at the top left, we have the joules. Middle is the joule per centimeter cubed. And right again is that ammo count. Let's go ahead and try it with an AEG. All right, and here we have a few rounds here. Again, 0.25s. Let's do a few again in semi-auto. 341. 341.6, 338, 339.7, 336.1. Let's go ahead and swap it over in the full auto and do a couple quick bursts. 17.86 rounds per second, 17.8, 17.9, 17.9, 17.92 so super consistent and this is the AEG that I was testing it out with this is a Crytax CRB and it's been my go-to for years now all right so my overall opinions what do I think about this I really like this a lot it is so small compared to every other chronograph I've used you can toss this in your bag and you won't even notice it it's also very accurate and consistent compared to the x3200 I really didn't notice any differences in the readings and through all the testing I've gotten zero errors so far so if you like the video be sure to hit like subscribe if you want to see more videos like this on just some more airsoft stuff and other gear reviews hit the bell so you're notified of when those are uploaded and thanks again for watching